Hey, glad you're here. Let's talk about the AM1 for U2 and let's talk about some different wheels you can put on it and some clearance issues with the AM1 for U driving around the playing field. Okay, so the AM1 for U2 is uh, very similar to last year's AM1 for U. We changed up the front and the back so that it had a little more st structure and support in the corners. Many people gave us feedback on that so that we can make it better. So thank you for those who helped us out with feedback. There is a very little amount of ground clearance. So when you're driving over the scoring platform on this year's games playing field, there might be some interference. I see a video here that, that the Robot in Three Days guys put together last night. It shows, it shows how to, you can drive over the platform with a standard kit chassis AM1 for U2 with four inch wheels. And they show how to do it different ways. They go slow, they go fast. It might take some tweaking. Maybe it doesn't work for you. Keep in mind that the AM1 for U2 can use different sized wheels. You can put six inch wheels on it. You can put, you can put eight inch wheels on it. Knock yourself out. A lot of people still wanting McCannum wheels and we're putting together some McCannum wheel packages for the AM1 for U2. Those will be up within a day or two. Um, we're just behind on that a little bit. So bear with us. We'll have four inch McCannum wheel packages, which is again low ground clearance. And we'll also have a six inch McCannum wheel package. That'll take a little bit longer, maybe a week to get those parts available. So today I'm eating uh, some soup. I've got some Progresso traditional chicken tortilla pudding and crackers. I do have to apologize. My eye has been bugging me. I know it's kind of gross, but I am seeing a doctor. I know some of you folks out there worry about me and my health. So uh, I am eating my vegetables and seeing a doctor about my eye. Check out tomorrow night, Wednesday the 7th of January. Both Jerry Budd and Liz Smith are joining some first staff to talk about the kit of parts for FRC. Um, it's going to be on Behind the Lines, produced by GameSense. It'll be a pretty exciting program that talks about the different parts of uh, the kit of parts. So check it out tomorrow night. So, something that we want to know around here about you guys is how does your team go about finalizing your design? Because that was, that's what you're doing right now. You're, you're working as a group um, of a lot of smart people and you're finalizing your design. What all do you do to finalize your concept so you can build your robot? We're curious, let us know. Thanks, have a good day. Hi Andy Mark, welcome to the workshop of Celtex, FRC Team 5406 out of Bishop Ryan High School in Hamilton, Ontario, and here's our team. You asked us, you asked us what our opinion were of the game. We have a variety of opinions on this year's game. Uh, let's throw it to the floor, shall we? Gabe. Um, I think it looks like a good game and it's going to be interesting to design for. Rhiannon, our drive coach. As a personal one, I hate it, but I think that there can be strategic value of it and it has real world applications. Uh, Keston, our programmer. As a first one, I still hate it. <laughs> Joanne. And I love the game. I love the real world applications. Great. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm Brendan, and I think uh, that it's going to be uh, really, really fun to watch. Some teams are going to do some amazing things. So thanks for letting us speak to you, and uh, have a good show. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>